As you begin to work on your graduation map template this week, you are going to start to wonder or want to research what classes are required for the degree that you're most interested in. Because as part of the graduation map project, you will be designing a template that anyone could use. So if you printed extra copies, you could share it with your friend, but also you have to fill it out with a program of your choosing. So in order to do this, you need to look at the classes that are required for a specific degree. The easiest way to do this is to visit the SLCC catalog. If you search for catalog in the search field on slcc.edu, and then choose the SLCC catalog or SLCC general catalog, it all goes to the same place. It will take you to the SLCC catalog. Notice mine says the 2020 2021 general catalog. That's a catalog year. Every year the college publishes a general catalog and as programs are updated, the changes only affect certain catalog years. If you've been a student for several years and you um, have registered for a program and you registered for it in 2018, you would be in the 2018 to 2019 general catalog and you would need to use the classes in that catalog as the requirements for your degree. You can always accept or update or opt for the new catalog and so if you are unsure and you haven't registered or you don't know what year you registered for, for this exercise, you could use the most updated requirements. Once you go to the general catalog, the easiest way to find the requirements for the degrees that are related to visual art, since you're registered right now for a visual art and design foundation course, is to choose programs and areas of study. It's all of the degrees and certificates available by by subject area. And so all of the degrees that are relating to arts, communication, and digital media are listed at the top, including visual art and design. And you can scan through here and see all the different certificates and degrees that are available. You can click on them to learn more about them, to read about the programs, the program outcomes. But if you scroll down, you will end up with all the courses that are required for the general education portion of your degree and the required courses within the program. So let's say that you are most interested in the Graphic Communications AS Transfer Degree. You can use this page to look at all the classes that are required for the degree. You can also learn more about the program by reading the whole page, which is quite long. And then at the bottom, there's a graduation map that already exists for the program. So one of the first places that you should start if this is the degree that you want to earn is you can click on the full-time graduation map or graduation game plan and it will give you a recommendation of which classes to take fall spring fall spring to finish this whole degree in four semesters you should use this to try to map out what classes you will take each semester if you've already been here for a couple of semesters you can eliminate the classes that you've already completed and just focus on the ones that you have yet to complete Another thing that you can use the catalog for is to check to see what classes have prerequisites and which classes are only offered, let's say, in the fall or the spring, what classes are offered in the summer, and which classes are not. To do that, you'll say on the same page and in the far left-hand side, you want to scroll down and you want to find course descriptions. After you write down all the classes that are required for your degree, you can click on course descriptions and then search for each class individually. So let's say this course, Art 1120, is a requirement for the Graphic Communications degree. If you hadn't already completed it, you could search for Art 1120. It would show you Art 1120 design, and if you click on it, it will give you the course description and tell you what semesters it's offered. This class is offered all, meaning fall, spring, and summer. Let's take a look at InDesign software. That's Art 1200. It's another class required for that degree. It is also offered all. Um, notice that this course and the previous course do not have any listed prerequisites, but there are recommended co-requisites. R1120 and R1135 are really good classes to take at the same time as R1200. And so if you were trying to put your schedule together, um, we recommend the co-reqs because taking all three classes at the same time actually makes each one of them easier. How about 
history of graphic design. That's art 2010. If we search for that, notice that it does not have any prerequisites listed, but it's only offered fall and spring. So when you're creating your graduation map, you cannot list history of graphic design in a summer semester if you plan on taking summer classes. Now let's look at a class that has a prerequisite. Art 1230 Type and Layout is a class that's recommended for everyone in this class, Art 1120, to take next semester. The reason that it's recommended for you to take it next semester is because Art 1230 is the gateway course for all the graphic design and graphic communications advanced courses. You cannot get into any of those because Art 1230 is a prereq, and so you need to take it early on in your academic career. This course, Art 1230, has a prerequisite. You must take Art 1120, design this course, and in design software before you take Art 1230. We'll actually let you take it at the same time. Um, I don't recommend taking 1120 at the si same time as 1230, but 1200 is perfectly okay. Um, what you learn in Art 1200, which is in design software, is used in the second half of the 1230 class. And so you'll learn enough uh, of what you need to know before midterms so that you're not behind the other students when it's time to create electronic layouts. I hope that helps as you start to work on your graduation map. I'll be posting a second example of how you can create a form instead of a design. Um, the form or the design can meet the outcomes of the project. Uh, I just want to give you a different perspective on how the project can be um, formatted and accomplished. If you have any questions, feel free to post a message in the chat and I'll answer it the next time I have online office hours or you can always shoot me a message to the Canvas inbox.